Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is so good to be filming again. It's been an insane month, but I have a little haul here. I've been sitting on this forever. I don't remember when Sassy Girl's restock was, but she had breakaway bars, not this last restock, but the one before. And I've had these for probably at least a month. And so um, I got, I do have one in my empties already, but I picked up Pink Sugar Sleepy Time Peppermint. And this is one of Devin's favorite, Tennessee Girl 1984. And I can see why she likes it. I'm not a huge fan of peppermint. Uh, the spearmint in it makes it really nice. I love pink sugar. So this is good. This is a decent blend. Um, I think I'll probably use it more in my son's room than my own because I usually go more for lavender and earthy scents at bedtime. Um, I picked up Beach Night type. I love Julie's Beach Night. She has a beautiful, it's heavier on the marshmallow than the toasted graham. There's a couple of other vendors that I feel like are heavier in either the salty sea air or the toast, uh, the graham. And so I really, really like her beach nights. So I picked up two of just the regular beach nights. And these breakaway bars are really decent sized. Um, I like these a lot. And they're beautiful. They are absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I usually use one, sometimes two chunks. Marshmallow is kind of a, a little bit softer of a note, so I do use two um, in each warmer. I've been using Glade hot plate warmers. They work fantastic for this. They break really easy. I'm a huge fan. In fact, she had another pre-order the other night, and I almost went back when I saw a few of my favorites. But uh, Beach Night Marshmallow Fireside, Toasted Marshmallow Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores, Vanilla cream blended with a comforting, rich aroma of smoldering woods. So this, I love Marshmallow Fireside. I love Beach Nights together. They are awesome. And then my favorite. I got a queue of this in 2017, I believe. And I fell in love. This is so amazing. It reminds me of my friend Sarah really likes Apple S'more uh, Radiant Red Maple from Scentsy. But that one's too woodsy for me. I can't stand that one. This one is really nice. It's crisp red Macintosh apple intertwines with hearthside smoky notes and sweet maple scents, warm caramel and aromatic woody notes. So I bought, I'm guessing five of them because I know I've already used an entire breakaway bar. Again, they're just gorgeous colors for fall. I absolutely love it. This is not exactly what I remember. Last year, I remember being a very kind of more of an earthy smell. For some reason to me this time, the caramel and the maple gives me kind of a bubblegum note. And I'm not hating on it because I really, really love it, but I think I would like to add some vanilla oak or something woodsy, maybe a Palo Santo, uh, maybe marshmallow musk. I know that's still sweet, but this is so, so good. But it is giving me more of a kind of a bubblegum, a sweet. Even my son smelled it. He said it smelled like bubblegum to him. But it's so, so good. And so when she had, she announced another pre-order the other day, and I almost went back and bought a bunch. But I thought, I've got a few here, and I've got a few other places I want to order from. So I did decide not to order. But this, if you haven't tried her Radiant Red Maple yet, it is so, so good if you like red apple and you like caramel scents, this is really good. So that is my small haul. I was really excited to get these in, but my son's been messing with my computer every day. So it's never where I need it to be when I wanna film. So I finally snuck it back away from him and thought I'd get this small haul in. I'm sorry it's so short. Let me know if you have any die-hard scents from Sassy Girl that I need to try because I am uh, going to be placing another order here pretty soon. Hope everybody's having a fantastic fall, and I will see you in my next video.